Alright guys, I'm not a big fan of reviews. Never really cared for them. I mean, they give you some, some decent information and stuff, but every once in a while I come across something that is it's pretty much next level and for a CNC machine this this gets you out from in front of the computer it literally does it it puts 99 percent of your process at your fingertips at the front of your machine without ever having to deal with running back and forth to the computer what you're looking at is the LHB 04B-4 MPG Mach 3 CNC controller. Just as a disclosure, I'm not being paid in any way to do this review. Paid for it out of my own pocket and the review doesn't reflect the seller or the manufacturer in any way whatsoever. Basically this is for controlling movement of your CNC machine. Now what this really does does for you is it gets you out from in front of the computer. Basically all I have to do is load my G-code in Mach 3 and I can do everything else from this one controller. For example, I need to zero out an access. I set up my macro so now I can zero out an access, zero out, out, out my next access, zero out my next axis, I'm ready to go. It has a feed plus and minus, a spindle speed plus and minus, a machine home, a workpiece home, it also has a Z probe function and a spindle on and off and has this safe Z function. More important, it has 10 macro buttons that allow you to program from what I've seen roughly 40 different possible configurations allowing you to from do any do anything from uh, one touch machine homing to zeroing out your X Y Z and A independently now this particular knob right here will allow you to run as a percentage and move as a percentage sorry it's not zooming in for me but but basically you, you get the rough idea it's allowing you to move as a per, as a percentage or I can switch it over to step and it will move in exactly one millimeter increments you can take this down as fine as 0 .001 millimeter increments or all the way up to I believe these are 10 millimeter incre increments yeah it's about 10 millimeters the manual pulse generator will allow you to move your CNC machine without having to deal with pushing buttons that tend to wear out. This one is a prime example of one that I had before. I had it for about a year. So it, it's not like it's a bad controller, but after, you, after a year of constantly pushing the X, Y, Z, A, Z axes and all that, the buttons have pretty much wore out to the point where you pretty much just have to hit them with a hammer to get them to even move. So the wheel <clears throat> gives you the optical movement without having to sit there and worry about the buttons wearing out on you. The one con I have found to this entire thing is this probe Z button. The probe Z button does not use your script from Mach 3. 
I'm sure you can probably program it to do that, but at this point right now, I mean, as it comes directly from the factory, it uses its own macro to run the probe Z, and the probe Z will just keep going and going and going until your bit finally uh, closes closes the circuit out to uh, show that it's finally met zero its zero point. Well, for that being for that that being said, if anything is faulty with your uh, zero probe. Your machine will just keep going and going and going and it will drive that bit through your zero probe or break your bit whichever comes first. So I would highly recommend uh, if you do get this find a way to set up a macro that will run your zero probe script from Mach 3. The cord on this is nylon braided I don't know if you can, if I can get this to. There it goes. Nylon braided, and uh, it's it's shielded. It's attached very well. It's a USB connection. You can actually uh, 3D print a holder for it, but it has magnets on the back, so it'll stick to any non-ferrous or any ferrous metal. So you're pretty much good to go there. So is this thing? really worth a hundred bucks yeah definitely I was really skittish about it at first a hundred bucks for a controller for the CNC machine seemed a bit steep for me but after receiving it and playing with it and and checking out some of the different macros and stuff that this thing does it's it's worth at least 200 bucks so if you're getting it at 100 bucks off Amazon you're getting it for a steal